All right, part two, revive and drive. Let's go. Today's the day. We're making it happen. One way or another, we're going to get this sucker home. All right, so kick back, relax, enjoy the show. Welcome to Tree Row Rescue. So I just checked the trans fluid. It's about a quart low. So I'm going to put a quart in here, fire it back up by filling the bowl up. See if we can get our idling again. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll get oil pressure. I bet it has oil pressure, just these gauges don't work. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And I had to choose the smallest funnel I brought with me to put this in. Fill it up to the brim. And now we wait. It's going to be like Bon Jovi. And we're just going to be living on a prayer. It's good for my house. Come on. Come on. Flow. Why did I choose such a small funnel for this? Anyway, stay there. Let's fill the bowl back up. Get her idling again. This takes a minute. Oh God, I'm spilling it everywhere. Yeah, that's the one thing that I do like about the Ford factory carburetors is that it has four posts. You can literally take a water bottle, shove the water bottle over top of that uh, copper post or brass post and it'll self feed from a bo water bottle. But Edelbrock Brock didn't like that design, I guess. And they was like, here, let's make it difficult. Let's make it a goofy, a goofy shape and a really small hole to fill the bowl. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just venting. All right, here we go. GM key, GM key switch. Oh man, fire's right up. It went in gear. We have forward. We got forward. We moved. And now it's going to die. But we do have oil pressure. The valve train quieted down. So we have transmission. We have oil pressure. Um, I'm going to hook up a blowing me away it's still running at this point um, I'm gonna hook up a fuel system uh, wow it's still running and uh, that way I can run some uh, cleaner through here get it up to operating temperature see if we're cooling you know all the things before we hit the road and I have brakes evidently I decided to hit the, the pedal and it stopped itch yes so that's a plus, and now we're dead. Good night. So let me hook up my fuel system, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, fingers crossed, everything works just fine. All right, so whenever I tell you to, I need you to put it right here, all right? Whenever I tell you. So I have my own fuel system wired up. I have an electronic fuel pump here, and I have this line primed because these things don't like to pull, they like to push. Have a inline filter, two inline filters going into the, let's see if our, or if our bowl floats are stuck or if they're doing blow, bowl, blow, blah, blah, <laughs> bowl float things. There we go, got it. All right, so negative goes here, bub. Go ahead, put it in the positive. Hold her there, let's see, we got fuel here. Are we gonna dump fuel? I hear it filling. And looks like we're holding. 
Looks like we're holding. So I'm going to go ahead. All right, let me see this. Push it all the way in. Let her ride. Let's uh, fire her up. Here we go. Multimeter. I did end up bringing it with me. Yeah. And I did test the alternator is very, very weak, but it is doing charging. Thanks, Camir. Let me show you. We're at 12.4, and it's holding pretty steady. Um, it was dropping to 11.9, then jumping back up, dropping down, dropping back up, and now we're holding steady at 11.4, so the alternator is very weak, barely doing anything. We might make it home on this alternator, but if not, I have another battery. So, we'll make it home, we're not going real far. So right now, what I'm doing is getting it up to operating temperature, see if the cooling system's doing cooling system things. Uh, I got my temperature gun, we'll check that here in about two or three minutes. We'll see how that stands. Tilter on back there. Let's see if she moves. Here we go. I got brakes. I got good pedal. Stay alive. I'm moving.
Well, so far we're doing good. My camera evidently screwed up on some of the drive, but we're about halfway home now. I should be able to, I restarted my camera. We should be able to get the rest of the drive. That's unfortunate, but it's doing really well. I was having to manually shift it. Uh, so I added some more transmission fluid. Uh, obviously I didn't add enough. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. We are about halfway home, which is about 20 or 30 miles, something like that. Not sure of the distance. Uh, just following the GPS to get back to the house. But yeah, it's making it. Can you believe it? So we did it. We made it. It was almost an hour's drive because I was having to go slow, but it's fine. It's short, I know, but hey, it did it under its own power and it's sitting here. And man, do I have a name for this one. Windy. It is so windy today. A gust of wind comes across from a street, boom, plows into the side of this sucker and whew, did I go for a ride may need some suspension anyway we're going to be bringing this one all the way back around thank you for watching it's actually abigail's you've seen her before on the channel but like comment subscribe what do you see what do you want to see done with this thing what do you want to see first let me know comment below as always have a wonderful day thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button share it and do whatever you feel like doing but always remember, I'm very grateful for you, and thank you.